Oh, you are at work this morning, Eric. I didn't know if you uh, you'd we'd be you'd be on your couch this morning with your kids. How no, you, sir. What the, is that, Ilsa? Ilsa? Elsa, you better Good get it right. <laughs> and what did we hear all through that movie? If you guys don't know it, is the song "Let It Go." Mm-hmm. Let it go, let it go. Yeah. So I thought that was a great theme this morning. Also, I didn't leave with any of. Uh, my son's uh, great dress up. So I was like, hey, man, I got Elsa on my bag that my daughter, uh, you know, my little reminder of her, she put it on daddy's uh, bag. So I said, well, hey, you know, that's a great thing to start out with, right? Here we go. Don't 2017 this- nutrition. Let it go, baby. Don't blame the stuff on your kids. You know damn well that all, all those <laughs> costumes you've been putting on every week are all yours. You got yeah. to sit around the gym there. Well, I didn't say I didn't give them to them. They were mine. <laughs> and then I just leave them in their room. Uh, so is this your new facility that's behind you? Yeah, dude. Check this beast Holy out. Cow. This is uh, this that's is legit. serious business right there. That is nice. Yeah, I saw uh, on we ain't fa- messing around here. Yeah, I saw on Facebook last week that uh, you were opening up a new facility there in uh, New York. Yeah. So uh, here's the logo right here. You got the uh, you know the old X, but it's oh, CrossFit nice. Exult. Um, and uh, we're we're excited here. Be you know, I wish I could. Uh, you know, maybe if the lights come on right at the end of the show, I'll show you guys out here. This is almost a hundred thousand square foot facility. Wow! I'm just in the fitness portion of it, which is where I do it. But this is a uh, because up north they have tons of these indoor facilities that people rent out to go on the turf to use a track to play basketball to practice all their sports. And when it's nine degrees outside and snowing, you know you got to have a place to go. So well, congratu- here we are. congratulations on that. Let's uh, start Thanks. start right here because uh, we want to get to fitness goals for 2018. Yeah. A lot of people will be like myself will be gearing up uh, to you know try to turn things around come Jan one. And, yep. and, uh, absolutely. Um, but let, let's talk about this past Christmas because I you know I made a joke on Tuesday morning when we came in here that. Uh, that my, you know, my fitness pal, which is where we're supposed to load in, you know, track all of our food and wa- all of our intake. Uh, it started to it started to cuss me out on Monday uh, because it wasn't even noon. It wasn't even noon and my apps going, buddy, you got to stop. I don't know what you're doing, but you're you're on the road to killing yourself. We started off with a a breakfast casserole. Which you know nice. is just uh, you know like eight eggs and has all the biscuits in it and uh, two packages yeah, of uh, the sausage gravy plus the sausage all that kind of stuff and that's just the beginning of the day of course. Yep. Um, so I, I I don't know exactly how many calories I put in my body on Monday, but I got to think it's in the like five thousand six thousand range. I'd probably get you in the ten G's. Okay, now you know. If you've had a couple adult beverages, it adds up really fast. Uh, there was only a couple. Had had we not decided to come in and do this show the next morning, then yeah, I would have turned it on because some people <laughs> did bring some good drink, including including some moonshine, nice. but I could only have a sip. Uh, but anyway, so so how, uh, what do you say to your clients when it comes to those holiday eating, uh, you know, holiday eating? Buddy, we're going back to the beginning of the show. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> so let it go. Don't worry about it. You, you have that day. She's singing it, you know, so... Uh, but it's, uh, you know, she says the cold never bothered me anyway. Well, the food never bothered me anyway because I really emphasize that point. I want to have that theme every week. It's consistently average, always trumps seldom perfection. So if we know we're going to have a day a week or half a day a week that we go off the rails or it's a holiday, it's a Christmas party, that's okay. Let it happen because you don't gain 30 pounds in one meal. You don't lose 30 pounds oh, in oh, hey, one day. Hey. important for people to understand that we're logging our food. We're seeing where we're at. We're hitting the calories we're supposed to as well as we're starting to focus on how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat we're taking in. So now we have this great opportunity to really help ourselves by just logging it. And I want to tell you, my hat's off to you guys. I'm proud of you. You guys, uh, you know, logging your food, that's a big change. So you guys are getting consistent. So it's great to see that. And I want to make sure that, you know, you guys understand that's the first step in this process for anybody is just logging it and seeing what's actually happening. It's great to go, well, you know, I think I'm doing okay. You know, you can put on the blinders, but, you know, drive your car with a blindfold. Let me know how, how well you do getting to where you're going. That's the same thing of what we're doing is we take the blindfold off and actually map out 
what you're supposed to be doing, how you're going to do it. And we've got, you know, we're your GPS. We're Google Maps for you, man. We're going to tell you, you know, if you turn the wrong turn, let me show you a different route. We're, we're rerouting. It's not like, hey, back up and go back there. Everybody thinks they need to get back on that perfectly straight line. Man, we like to go down country roads sometimes, and we like to, you know, go into little rabbit holes and go visit uh, Grandma's Pie or, you know, the, the breakfast scramble, you know, with all the mm. biscuits and or shake up some hash browns with salt. That's okay. But uh, we want to make sure that you guys understand that that's okay. It's just if you're logging it, it keeps you mentally accountable to what you're eating, and it allows, like me, the coach, to see what you're eating. And then when we go through the measurements of body fat weekly, again, you're not going to gain four inches on your waist in a week. You're not going to gain... 14 pounds in a week, um, I mean, it could happen, but it's not going to stay permanently. So we want to make sure you guys stay there. I didn't even think I have to, uh, you know, bring up my, my photo from this morning. Here, I don't know if I can bring this up over the top of you. No, I don't think I can. Let's... Did you just say you're going over the top of me? Yeah, I think I said something that uh, that outrageous. Oh, never mind then. Like, I'll have here, to bring up again. that picture from jujitsu back in the day when – you were on oh, top of me. That is that is funny. Yeah, we'll have to uh, track that one down. All right. So what am I supposed to do now? I, I don't want to get rid of him. I just want to minimize him a little bit, and then see. This is why I can't lose you, Johnny Torres. I know. I can't even figure out how to slide over. Don't make me small, please. <laughs> uh, the try the little button there uh, next to the minimize. hang up. The yeah. Try there we go. That yep. that's going to make it bigger. You and can't full minimize screen. it, baby. That's full screen. Exit full screen. Now try to now when that bar comes up, that gray bar, try to pull that down. Now hit the uh hit the full screen button again. All right. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry that li- every single week we have to go through this. I'm sorry that I'm too stupid to understand basic <laughs> effing technology. No, it's tricky. I mean, it even took me a while to figure out. Hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> you know what never mind okay i'm not going to pull up after we hang up with him i'll i'll I'll, uh, I'll pull it up uh but last week uh when i weighed in it was 248.6 or 248.4 uh this week it's 246.4 down two pounds and, from last week and dude look and how exciting is that that you still had christmas that was on christmas weekend that you went through yep and yep. we still had some loss so that's what you know what's exciting about it when you start tracking it then mentally you can get into, hey, I have this allotment every day because we're not that nutrition program that does the, hey, we're gonna, you're going to have 500 calories and we're going to do some very extreme things. You guys can see that I think you guys can agree that you're allotted a good amount of calories yeah. every day. You're not you know on this minimalist diet by any means. You guys get quite a bit of calories. It's just a matter of how you want to consume them. All right, so before we uh, get you off, a little bit of advice for people who are setting goals uh, for next year, uh, what's the best way to approach, you know, that that uh, that that state of mind? Hire a coach. <laughs> well done, well done. But <laughs> it's really, I mean, going aw- around that. It's just like I said, you know, you're gonna if you need to go somewhere, you're gonna look up Google Maps and see how to do it. But I would de- t- definitely tell everybody to get My Fitness Pal. It's a free app. They got that premium version. It's like forty bucks a year. Uh, d- definitely helps out if you prepare a lot of your own food, but track your food. That's number one. And then you can start to see, because it automatically will upload some spe- you know, some general goals. You guys both saw that when you downloaded the app and you put in your goals and your body uh, uh, and your uh, weight and what your goal weight is that you see that there's not an issue with uh, – you know, the goals they set forth, but then getting something specific with your protein, fat, and carbs is what we want. But just having them log their food and then kind of go by that as a gauge to see how much they're actually eating every day. And when you use that app, as I told you guys, turn off the steps, turn off the activity on it, because when you let the MyFitnessPal track your activity and how your phone moves, it actually adds calories to your daily allotment. And we want to, you know, kibosh that. We want you to just eat the calories that is supposed to be there. We don't want it to add for additional activity. Okay. Um, Eric Stratman, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate uh, you hopping on with us and uh, getting us prepared over the last uh, four or five weeks. And uh, I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to... I've got a lot of good uh, shenanigans planned for the, this coming year. But, guys, Merry Christmas. God bless you and your families. Happy New Year, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. All right, man. We'll talk to you. All right, bye. Bye-bye.